Over the past three months, the state has enjoyed more snow than it's had in years. That's certainly temporarily helped with the drought conditions, but might still not be enough for our watersheds. The situation has researchers monitoring several spots, including Berthoud Pass. CBS4 Mountain reporter Jamie Larry takes us there tonight with a look at what they found. Berthoud Pass is among 115 snow tell sites in the state, and it's one of the highest. Hydrologists here are taking measurements to verify some of the data that this sends back wirelessly. Among the things that it measures, snowpack and water content, which is critical information when it comes to our water supply. So what I'll be doing is I'll just be recording our depth and our core length. 51.5. So we're essentially weighing what's in the tube. That weight gives you a pretty much exact measurement of what the liquid water content would be. Well, the samples here are over 50 inches deep. 50 plus inches of depth. When that melts, that, that would be 16 inches of liquid. It's snow that should melt and mostly run right into our waterways. We know the soils under the snowpack are so dry that it basically has to absorb so much of that um, like a sponge before it transmits it through to a river channel. 52.0. Hydrologist Carl Wetlofer and Mike Gardison use the data collected here in combination with soil moisture models. To make our best estimate of how much they're going to have to absorb before it really gets transmitted. There are several ways to collect data from the site and all tell a similar story. In a normal year, the Percent of normal snowpack would likely correlate with the stream flow runoff. With the snow melt this year going straight into the soil, it is easily in that range of like 20 percent less stream flow than we'd commonly expect. And we did observe a similar effect last year, but we're expecting it to be more dramatic. Drought conditions are expected across much of the nation this summer. So yeah, that's going to affect water resources, whitewater recreation, fishing. All those things are definitely going to be impacted. Drier and warmer. The data shows it's becoming a trend. It's going to take substantial spring and summer precipitation to really recover. At Berthoud Pass, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.